Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you tonight why Roman Reigns has become the tribal chief and has completely, you know, um, taken over professional wrestling, to say the least. Uh, this man is, like I said, he's been dominating. And it's kind of crazy because it ne it almost never turned out. It should have never even went down like this. It's kind of crazy. And I give credit to Triple H and the whole WWE for even uh, allowing this to even take place because they could have pivoted at any second. You know, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, we all know this guy. He started off, obviously, with, with the Shield, you know, um, coming out of the, the developmental uh, system that they had out there in Florida. You know, I believe it was FCW. You know, uh, Reigns came in, you know, formed a faction with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, and, and the Shield was just epic, you know. I'm um, just going to keep it 100, man. Um, it's kind of crazy because it's almost like the bloodline that was going on now, and we'll get into this in, in, in a few other episodes that we might have here when we discuss in pro wrestling. If you're a professional wrestling fan, hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. Uh, if you got pro wrestling in your heart, you already know WWE, AEW. Uh, we're going to keep the content rolling for you. Let, it, let me know if you're feeling this so we can keep it rolling for you. Um, but to but to be able to keep it one hundred, man, um, it, it, it is looking like the bloodline is almost gonna take out whatever the shield was doing. You know, it's almost making you feel like the shield is a distant memory. Uh, the more and more the bloodline continues to dominate what they're doing, like the Usos, and it's kind of crazy because it's truly a bloodline. You know, with the family dynamic that they have here. Um, this is this is wild. The storyline that they have going on that they've been running for years now, um, and Roman Reigns is the face of professional wrestling. People might dislike it, discredit it. You know, you you hear um, people talking about it, but it is what it is. But this guy was getting booed out of buildings. We we all know that uh, the fans completely rejected him. You know. Um, <clears throat> previous years, you know, you might have had a face of wrestling. It's almost like the fans picked him. You know, a CM Punk, the fans picked him. You know, a guy like Daniel Bryan, the fans picked him. Um, I feel like Roman Reigns, and I know most people feel like this as well, Roman Reigns was kind of pushed on to people, you know, um, even though he had to fight through, give him credit too, because he had to fight through a lot of bulls. You know, it, it was almost, it was basically, he was like christened to be the face of professional wrestling. You know, um, and it didn't go over well. And I'm pretty sure the talent wanted different and changes as well done, but you know, it seemed to never happen. But I mean, it is what it is. Roman, you know, uh, he he's look where he's at today. You know, the way that fans was treating him, you would have thought he was a job or anybody else who received that kind of heat. You know, uh, would have never been able to last in that spot. Could have been that he's down with the bloodline. Obviously, we know The Rock. If, if you're not familiar, The Rock is that their cousins. You know, The Rock and Roman Reigns, uh, the Usos, they're all cousins. The, uh, the Samoans, you know, they just got Sakao, if I'm not mistaken. That's Rikishi's son, the legend Rikishi. I don't know if y'all familiar with him. You know, he was a problem back in the Attitude Era. You know, his son is wrestling now, and he's down with the bloodline. So uh, they really packing um, the talent in. And the Usos has been around forever, you know, and it's crazy to see them. They're high flyers. These, they, they, this is one of the greatest tag teams in professional wrestling, you know, before the bloodline. But now, when they chipped up, they got both titles. You know, as you can see, Roman Reigns is the undisputed universal uh, heavyweight champion. They're holding all the gold you know, um, out there in the bloodline. So it's kind of crazy what's happening. You know, it's like an all-out takeover, you know. Um, but I, I don't know if people seen this coming. You know, could it have been his epic matches against Brock Lesnar? You know, the encounter with, um, obviously, the multiple encounters he's had with Cena through the years. You know, Rollins, you know, he's put on some classic performances. You know, um, The Undertaker, about he, he beat The Undertaker in WrestleMania. We all know that. You know, and that didn't go over well. I actually was live for that WrestleMania, you know, uh, for Roman Reigns, you know, on that bout. Roman Reigns, um, I was, I seen that he, he, he uh, went off the top. He didn't go to the top rope. He, he ran the ropes and then he, he hit him with a spear. It was finished him, you know. He got a lot of momentum on that spear and then took out the dead man. But, I mean, what, what, what can you do?
you know, at the end of the day. You know, um, it is what it is. But I tell you what, that WrestleMania was just epic. You know, um, that I could tell you that, that I have went to. We're going to get into that on, the, on, on another video that we have for you. But I'm just here to tell you in a brief, short snippet on how this man became the face of pro wrestling. You know, as you can see, AEW, you know, an upstart, you know, situation, you know, backed by a lot of money. You know, the dude running the Jacksonville Jaguars is behind this. So, you know, they got major backing, you know. Uh, so, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, uh, what happens. You know, CM Punk is there, you know, uh, Jericho. You got a lot of people who kind of despise the whole Roman situation. You know, we all heard CM Punk, you know. They, they, what they said, you know, he's had a lot of uh, basically shoots, you know, talking like, yeah, um, they, they kept telling me, this is the guy, this is the guy, even though the fans completely rejected him, you know, and I believe that uh, CM Punk felt like everybody else felt, like if there was anybody else in that position, would they have been able to continue with this opportunity? And I believe the answer is no. So we all know, um, and, I, and I think that was, and he was met with a lot of rejection, but I tell you what, he's, whatever rejection he was met with, he, he's completely won him over. Roman Reigns has completely gained the um, respect of the fans. Uh, I believe the talent, you know, um, of, of all, wherever, you, wherever you're wrestling, I believe everybody respects Roman Reigns, you know, um, because of the grind that, he's, that he did. You know, he's a true professional. You know, he's overcome a lot. You know, and he's and he advocates for the business. You know, you can't find nobody out right now representing the business like Roman Reigns. You know, no matter what platform he's on, uh, wherever he's he's representing it correctly. So, um, it's just like I said, it's inter it's gonna be interesting. You know, to say the least. You know, um, yeah, I'll be on the lookout. Uh, we all know what, what's happening. You know, uh, he's got a big bout against Logan Paul and Crown Jewel. But, um, man, this is the truth. Y'all let me know in the comment section um, if you're a professional wrestling fan. Uh, let's, let's talk. Let's, 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 let's navigate this situation. How did Roman Reigns become a tribal chief? And we cannot forget the wise man, Paul Heyman. And we're going to get into Paul Heyman next. So be on the lookout and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss, you know, when I discuss the wise man, Paul Heyman, and his legendary uh, run. Paul Heyman is m m my favorite manager, you know, in history. I, I believe this man is the greatest manager, you know, in the history of professional wrestling. Uh, this guy Heyman don't get enough credit. Heyman is the truth. And he's behind it all. You know, he was behind a lot of good people getting over you know, when they put Heyman with him, you've seen things change, you know, um, and like I said, I don't want to say too much, but shout out to the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, be on the lookout, uh, we got a lot more content coming, uh, we're going to discuss uh, some CM Punk, we got to discuss what's going on in AEW, there's a mess out there, um, hit that subscribe button, it's Flight Sports.